Good evening, everyone. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and tonight I'm going to cover the topic of axially graded index lenses. And if you've never heard of something like that, well, we're going to tell you about that. But before I do, I'm going to tell you guys that I have five Kindle books, and if you want to read any of them, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to send you a link to those to those books. All right. So, let's get into this, shall we? Why do solar panels only produce 22% output at their maximum? Well, there's a good reason for that. When the sun directly hits, hits the solar panel, that's when it generates electricity. But if the sun is at an angle to the solar panel, well, you can forget about that electricity. It just goes away. Okay? And that is why that happens. So what is the answer to that problem? Well, my first answer was in the term Fresnel lens, which I covered in a previous video, but we got a better answer in this one, okay? Solar panels also don't collect all of the light spectrum that the sun pours on the earth when the sun is shining. How can people like myself solve that problem? Well, we need to create something called an actually graded index lens. What is an actually graded index lens? Well, I'm going to show you what one looks like. If you have ever eaten a chunky candy bar, you will recognize the shape almost immediately. If not, well, you should grab yourself a chunky candy bar because it's going to look a lot like that. Okay? And it's going to have layers. Something like this. That is an actually graded index lens, or at least a drawing of it. And you're going to put a bunch of these on your solar panel. And when you do, it won't matter where the sun is in the sky, it's, still, still, it's light still going to strike the solar panel. Okay? Now, why the different layers? Because they collect different parts of the light spectrum. Okay, each layer is going to collect a different part of the light spectrum, and then it's going to reflect. It's going to bounce around in this uh, prism before it hits your solar panel. That means you're getting a lot more electricity out of your solar panel than you thought. Another advantage of these actually graded index lenses is that they can, they can actually collect light that is normally scattered by rain clouds. So a cloudy day won't affect how much light you can collect from these lenses. I did try to find a very specific web article that would detail the materials that would be used in the making of these lenses. Unfortunately, I was not able to find such a website, but if you guys find one, leave it down here in the comments below. I'll read it and I'll share it with everyone. I'd love to do that. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.